Forty years ago this month, President Gerald Ford's plan, Operation Baby Lift, rescued more than 3,000 children from gunfire and violence toward the end of the Vietnam War. By many measures, it was successful, giving thousands of Vietnamese adoptees a chance at a life without war. A reporter Whitney Wilde shares one such story with a twist. Even in life's most mundane moments, Shane Dewey knows that good fortune gave him a life and a family he almost didn't have. I'm from a family of 10. Shane, a Vietnamese orphan, was adopted into an American family as an infant. Let's see, I was like eight months old. On April 4th, 1975, Shane was airlifted out of war-ravaged Vietnam through an American rescue effort called Operation Baby Lift. <laughs> Frantic parents and caregivers placed infants and children in planes bound for the U.S. In all, more than 3,000 children were saved. If somebody says, thank God I'm alive, well, I can actually say, thank God I'm alive. On that day, good fortune was only one side of chance. Twelve minutes after takeoff, it became clear that the luckiest children in Vietnam were on a doomed flight. The first rescue plane, a C-5A aircraft meant for cargo, fell apart midair, crashed into a muddy rice paddy, and broke into pieces. But the only redeeming thing is, is that I was eight months old. And I was straddled into a shoebox, basically, um, up in the upper deck. Of the 228 children on board, only 150 survived. Another lives right here in Colorado. I have a, an adopted sister who's Korean. Nine News photographer Adam Vance. I feel extremely lucky. I mean, and I don't even think lucky is the word. Stories like theirs have been chronicled in documentaries, magazines, news pieces. They share so much, but haven't been close enough to touch in 40 years. And there was that moment of like, what? Are you kidding me? That's him. That's oh me. My gosh. That Isn't that crazy? Is There's Shane leaning on Adam in 1975. I could feel all the blood rushing out of my head, you know, and thinking, oh my God, no way. There's no way that that's true. You know, you don't know to think about um, that you're going to meet the kid that you, you sat right next to. For both men, Chance has been a guide and has brought them each love and family. And now, a new friend. To meet somebody that has been in the same place that I've been um, is extremely miraculous. I can only go with what I feel. And I can always tell you that the bond between survivors is greater than any other bond I have with any other person. It's definitely something very special, and I intend to, to hang on to that. In Parker. Maybe we should take the DNA test to see if we're brothers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Whitney Wilde, <laughs> 9 News. Wow. It is remarkable, and Adam says Shane is the first crash survivor he has ever met. And now he's considering learning more about his heritage now that he has Shane there to support him. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating. I mean, obviously, they went into working on this story knowing that they had this connection. The photo was a total Just surprise. The they had no idea that was coming. That's us. That's something.